What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Rainbow Runner, and here we are. This is will be the grand finale of 2021. Um, and of course, as you saw earlier, um, this it's a pretty overcast day and even rainy. Um, too. Um, but I mean, I can see some clearings in the clouds over there. Um, I'm here. I am in downtown Chandler, of course. Um, you know, over there, South Mountain. But yeah, I figured I might as well like kind of make my end of the year vlog and stuff like I have done before. So, of course, 2021 started off rather unpromising. Um, like, cause even though like everyone's like, yeah, 2020 finally over. I mean, we were still kind of just picking up where we left off and with the kind of the holes we've fallen into during 2020, but, um, and things, um, well, of course, near the beginning of this year, like they had, um, there was the raid on the Capitol and then, um, and then President Biden, Joe Biden taking office as the 46th president. And, um, this, and this, I'm not here to favor or endorse any political views. Um, uh, just, because I, I don't want this to be like a political debate or anything. Um, but yeah, um, but I mainly started, was continuing doing stuff with my service mission. Um, uh, February, um, there were some interest. Well, I mean, overall throughout the year, um, like my mission had plenty of, of cool things. And I'll, I guess I'll kind of elaborate on that as we go. Like January, we had, um, a, a Sunday meeting and then lunch at some of the mission leaders that we, of the Scottsdale mission stuff, like at their house. Um, that was cool on a Sunday. Um, then let's see, February. Um, I, at the beginning, I actually got to go up. I went up to Utah for my first major trip. Um, and because at the end of January, um, I lost my great grandmother Shirley Clausen, who lived to ninety-eight years old. Um, uh, it, but yeah, it's, and so we were just going up there to take care of some business there, um, and that trip is pretty bittersweet, if you will, because that actually ended up being the last major trip I went on with my grandfather Howard Davis, and um. But that was, but that was an intro. But I did, I do remember, like I filmed us like driving across the bridge at the Glen Canyon Dam, and my grandpa was in that video. Um, so yeah, again, pretty bittersweet. Um, uh, but it was cool, like in Utah. Um, um, and I, I saw my family up there. I even saw like my sister Melody and. Her husband Carl, like there, we met in Utah, um, and it was one of the two times that I saw Melody when she was pregnant with my nephew. Um, but then there were some other activities, like in February. I'm starting to drizzle a little bit, sorry. So, but in February, um, we had like a duathlon from my mission hosted a duathlon, um, and also, oh, um, there was one of the elders in my mission, like he. He invited us to like do a service project all the way up in Cave Creek, which I, it was an unexpected day trip that I decided to go on. And it was really cool. Um, helping out like a house that was really in need. Um, and then, um, I also got to drive over to the Phoenix temple to see, and speaking of temples, um, the Gilbert, working on the grounds of the Gilbert temple has still been one of my most prominent service locations. Um, and um, but I also changed up a few things. Like, um, I now started to go to, um, what is it? The Queen Creek Performing Arts Center and also the, well, I still worked at Project Cure in Tempe, um, at least for a bit. Um, then, um, but yeah, the beginning of February also marked them one year of me being on my mission. Um, so on March, I saw some even more cool, saw some more cool things going on with my mission with like, I think we did like a 
afternoon with an apostle event. Um, and then, um, also like the, we did a course at the desert sky park in Gilbert, um, which is kind of like the American Ninja Warrior style course. Um, and sorry if I, I lose all my thoughts, but oh yeah, um, something else um, is um, there were some rays of light that started really shining our way in March because um, they were starting to lift like mask mandates and and things like that and once again, like, uh, this statement is not intended to, like, be a source of contention among us. Um, and speaking of among us, um, I really started getting addicted to that. I mean, I think it's really sus that the game start, be only became popular, like, within in these this year and the last year, um, when it was released in 2018. April went pretty smoothly, um, again, um, and I, oh yeah, and I should, I guess I'll also mention that, um, like the Marvel Cinematic Universe started getting back into business with WandaVision well, starting in January and then Falcon and Winter Soldier going through April and see my friend, the front I and I also was able to like help out with some people help some people out um, outside of my mission um like helping one of my sister's friends um move her stuff out to the west side of the valley um then I also had um uh my sister's brother-in-law and her or in his wife sorry my Melody's brother-in-law Ian and his wife Tatiana um um, we helped them prepare for like their wedding and like, and my sister and so Melody and Carl came out for that. And that was the second time I saw Melody when she was pregnant. Um, but the beginning of May, um, was cool. Um, cause I got to go with my brother, Kevin, and we went on a bit of, we went on a road trip. Um, that was when um, I rode the Verde Canyon railroad with him and we spent the night in Jerome. Um, then we spent the night in then the next day we drove to Williams to spend the night and then we went, saw the Grand Canyon. And then the last day we went, we rode in a helicopter, which was pretty lit um, over the canyon. And that was a thing that has inspired me to plan a Grand Canyon rim to rim hike in, um, in May of 2022. Very ambitious thing right there. Um, um, and I, and I guess another noteworthy thing in May is, um, I got to go, I got to go down to Yuma with my mission because we had a Sunday meeting down there. Um, that, that's a, something that's really cool. Like I got to drive my truck, um, several places of note. Well, I didn't drive down to Yuma. We, we carpooled, but, um, but like a lot of the Sunday meetings, um, we got to go to like a variety of places, um, uh, including down to Maricopa. I think it was in May, but also um, in this past month in December. Um, and then Kevin and I, I think, did a hike like on Memorial Day, like just because we were trying to like find ways to start preparing to hike the Grand Canyon. Um, it was a small hike like up around South Mountain. Um, and I'll kind of go more soon. Um, June, um, I did have to like get some repairs on my truck. I'm like, I had an oil leak and I also had, um, like a squeaky belt and things like that. Um, I did get this FM transmitter that I got for my truck, which will allow me to play music because there isn't in any there isn't an aux cord or anything like that here. So, um, but I did have to get repairs on my truck. Um, I replaced my front tires also in May. Um, I guess also in July, I did have to like fix the, get the mechanism here fixed. Um, but yeah, I, I have spent at least 1300 bucks on my truck this year. Um, I mean, it definitely beats a monthly car payments, but I mean, it's still quite a lot. Um, 
Let's see, July, um, of course, there was 4th of July. Um, I did set off some fireworks for that. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention in, in June, um, because of, like, the... Because of, like, how awkward some things were, like, with arrangements, um, we actually had the funeral for my great-grandmother in in June. Um, and... Yeah, she was cremated, and we hauled her ashes down to Arizona, like, back in February. Um, and it was also cool, because my my grandfather gave the life sketch for Shirley Clausen, and I think my mom recorded it, um, and, and again, that's another bitter, very bittersweet thing. Um, let's see, and then, um, and then, um, so, f then, also, the, in July, um, I got to go up to Las Vegas to help my brother Kevin move. I did um, help like him get his stuff out of his apartment and down in Queen Creek and do some stuff to prepare for it. But um, the move itself, um, it wasn't the first time I was in Nevada, but um, it was still s somewhat satisfying. Um, I was able to help him unload his stuff into his new apartment in Vegas um, and... Again, despite not being vacation oriented, um, I I made the best out of the trip I could. Um, I was able to get pics in front of the Las Vegas sign um, with my mom, um, and then we drove home afterwards. Um, yeah, and then um, let's see, July eighteenth was a memorable day. Well, I guess well the seventeenth. Um, well, July seventeenth, of course, that was Disneyland's anniversary. Um, it. And by that point, it had officially reopened and stuff. I think it was initially only the California residents, but now I think anybody can go. I know there's probably still some mandates in place. And I know California politics and other things aren't that great. But, I mean, I, I still would like to go back to Disneyland. But, anyways, I'm kind of going off on a tangent. Um, the 18th saw, um, well, I officially became an uncle because... Um, Melody gave birth to my nephew Beckett, um, and so that was pretty cool. And I guess the gender reveal I also glossed over. It was um back in March. So August, of course, that was when I went to Illinois to see for well for my nephew's baby blessing, um, and then we we saw plenty of things like. Abe Lincoln's tomb, um, and then we, even, and then on the last day, we drove to Illinois, well, all right, Nauvoo, um, because seeing a lot of the church sites there, um, and then, um, then we got to, I got to go into Iowa, which added Iowa to my list of states, I'm now at 17 states visited out of 50, um, um, because we went to Fort Madison just for lunch and stuff, um, and we also, of course, saw a free guy in theaters, um, and then we flew home, basically. Um, and that's, speaking of movies, um, like, a lot of, I was also really starting to make a comeback in terms of, like, going to see movies in theaters as they were intended on the silver screen. Um, and I I found it interesting. Well, they did a lot. Harkins has the classics program where they show, like, a lot, some older movies, like, certain weeks and stuff um so i was able to see jaws um yeah steven spielberg is the legend right there um but i also saw back to the future in theaters um that's a movie i've seen plenty of times but seeing it on the silver screen is amazing um raiders of the lost dark is another one because this year is its 40th anniversary um then oh yeah the first mission impossible too um i did get to see black widow um because Black Widow, um, in terms of Marvel stuff, um, they it was originally intended in to be in 2020, but obviously that didn't come to pass. Um, so 2021 was when it came out too instead. Um, and also on, in terms of stuff on Disney Plus, um, Loki was another MCU series released. Um, and then, um, oh yeah, I also liked watching um, Pixar's Luca. So, yeah, August was mostly stuff. And also on the topic of movies, um, 
like August and moving into September, um, they also did an event at Harkins for where they showed all eight of the Harry Potter movies because this year marks 20 years since Sorcerer's Stone came out. Not only that, the oh yeah, I also saw In the Heights on June 30th, which was my mother's birthday, which was cool. And um, speaking of birthday, I guess um, of course September seventh um, is was my birthday. I got to go to a D backs game for that, even though we ended up losing. Um, but also, um, and at the beginning of the month, um, my older brother, well, Kevin drove down to visit like just before my birthday, before he went back up, and then um, Melding Carl came to visit Arizona too um, for a good while, and we spent and the. And I also got to see, like, the new open house for the Mesa Temple. Um, that was pretty lit. Um, and then Melding Carl left him. Carl left him. But the middle of September, um, like, September 21st. Yeah, that's the day that became famous because of, you know, earth, wind, and fire. But unfortunately, September 21st was not a good day for my family this year because that was when... My grandfather, Howard, died while he was in Utah. While we were in Utah. He died at age 79, um, and he was, interestingly, one day younger than Harrison Ford. All right, but, yeah, that, and that kind of moved into October. I, I did see um, Disney's Jungle Cruise um, in, um, in September, too. Um, yeah, and then that... that so yeah, Melody Carl had to fly back out for the funeral, and Kevin also drove down here too, um, because the funeral took place on um, October 9th, and yeah, it was up in um, up in Payson, um, well, around. Uh, um, it's really starting to rain, but yeah, it, it took. It took place at Christopher Creek, um, and so, and then, well, a lot of my family was there, um, and then we drove up to, to Taylor, um, which was where my grandfather would be buried, um, but that was also interesting, like, because a lot of my mom's family, including her parents, were buried there, too. Yeah, it was a, it was a poignant day, but it was also, at the same time, very spiritual. I got to perform, like, with my siblings, a special musical number for the service. Um, and there was also like ton crazy amounts of traffic that weekend. Like we intended to go up on the night before, um, but like there was like backup on the 87 going up to Payson. And then there was traffic going up to, when we were heading up to Taylor, going up to Mogollon Rim. And then even, and like some, like a dead stop for a while, like coming home. But eventually we did get going again. Um, but then, um, other things in October, we still had plenty of mission activities. Um, um, I did like, there were times like I got to go inside, I got to go in the temple for like one of my companions who went through to get endowed for the first time. And like, and they were all, we went as a mission. Um, I got to clean the temple one time. Um, and then, and also on the note of temples, um, well, at the at the end of September, we had like a YSA devotional um, for the Mesa Temple reopening, um, and I also got to, you know, go attend the open house of the Mesa Temple. But then, um, the end of October took a dark turn, another dark turn for my family because um, my parents both tested positive for COVID, so um, I had to quarantine um moving into November. Um, but during that time, um, the Braves were able to win the World Series, and I think that was a well-deserved win. Um, and and I do have to, I applaud the Astros for their valiant efforts. Um, Dusty Baker, they, they had a good manager there. Um, and, and I'm not one to hate the Astros because of the sign stealing or anything like that. Um, I mean, I mean I, maybe, maybe sometime... Though, like the Astros can um, win the can win another World Series, and people will be more content with their with their victory. But 
Anyways, moving into November, um, I saw, um, I, um, because I couldn't, um, because Halloween was a no-go, um, I did a, a bit of a cosplay as Marty McFly from Back to the Future, which was pretty lit, um, and then I was able to get back into the swing of things with my mission, um, something worth mentioning is that also, um, in August or so, I gave up my day at Project Care, I started to work at, the, uh, what they call the Father McGivney Food Bank, which was down in Queen Creek, um, and I was able to kind of do some pickup and pickup runs for them. Then, um, let's see, November, um, I know, and after getting out of quarantine, I was able to get back into the swing of things with my mission. Um, uh, there were several activities. Um, one was an early morning hike and we went up to Brown Mountain. Um, and then Thanksgiving, um, uh, Kevin came down for that too. Um, and then we even went out, went shooting out in Queen Valley, of course. Um, I didn't, I, of course, I haven't really gotten to go shooting that much, but I, but that was a day I got to do it. Um, I got a 20 gauge shotgun that I got from my grandfather. Um, yeah. And then, then moving into December, um, of course, Christmas season was pretty cool. Um, um, yeah, Christmas season is just very unique time of year. Um, so, and there's stuff like Light the World. Um, oh yeah, and also um, they released the Hawkeye series. Um, I think Hawkeye might actually be my favorite Marvel series, but that's not all. Um, well, I guess I, well, I did go to see um Shang Chi um, in back in October. Um. It was released in September, but I was, like, busy doing the Harry Potter stuff. Um, but, yeah. Um, the Shang-Chi um, was cool. But I... Oh, yeah, I also saw Eternals. Um, Eternals, um... It wasn't the greatest MCU. I mean, it was okay, though. Um, then, um... But Spider-Man No Way Home was amazing. I I'm not making it up. It was... It was really cool. Like, I would highly recommend you go see it. Um... And I, I, I will not spoil anything, but holy crap. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah, and then Christmas season, um, for Christmas, um, Melody, and, Melody Car and Carl flew back here and Kevin drove down. Um, we had all three of us, all three of us were in town, um, the, the trilogy of siblings um, for Christmas. Um, and I... I took the time I was able to give some gifts to, um, to some people and I was quite content with some of the gifts that I received too. Um, and yeah, there's, there's nothing like Christmas. Like it's, it's cool, but it's also, um, like the, the, the true meaning of Christmas is because like with the wonderful thing that Jesus Christ was, um, my mission did like do some events as well. Um, and that was pretty cool um and yeah, i know this is kind of out of order but uh, like also in november over thanksgiving weekend i think i did like a hike with my brother up to the the hayden butte right in the middle of tempe All right and in terms of my overall youtube channel um i've done quite a bit um um i think my i've done quite a bit of rail fanning some um, i really liked how the they they put up the new pedestrian bridge um in at the power line trail in Gilbert um um and then I was able to film quite a few trains um and then some special videos like me riding in the helicopter um the Verdant Canyon Railroad um and then plenty of stuff just to keep me just to kind of keep you like informed, like what's going on in my overall life. Um, and I, but yeah, and I, I thank you for all the subscribers that have come up. Um, and I, I plan for more stuff in 2022. Um, and there are some other, and I hope that some more great stuff will be coming soon, like rail fanning, but also like I, I also thought I should like get kind of give tributes to um some 
good people that we've lost this year. Um, of course, like I told you, like I lost my great grandmother, Shirley Claus, and then my grandfather, Howard. And, but also like there are some notable people, like people know, like any Pixar fans would know, like we lost Christopher Plummer, the voice of Charles Munson up, um, Ned Beatty, the voice of Lotso in Toy Story 3. Um, then Ed Asner, Carl Fredrickson in Up. Um, and then also, I guess, um, I haven't seen it, but I heard he was also Santa Claus in Elf. Um, but I guess we also lost a lot. Of, ugh, that sounded weird, but we also lost some some musicians. I think it was the bass guitarist for... Um, ZZ Top. Um, I don't remember his name, but but I also remember Charlie Watts, the drummer of the Rolling Stones. So, again, tribute to some good people who have passed on, and thank you for all you've done. Um, but yeah, 2021, I wouldn't say it would be the greatest year, but I would definitely say it is an improvement from 2020 overall. Um, plenty of, of major moments in my life. Um, I got to go on three major trips, three times leaving the state. Um, so Utah, Nevada, Illinois, and I guess also Iowa. Illinois and Iowa, I went visit on the same trip, of course. Iowa being my most recent addition to my state. Um, then, but yeah, um, I hope for great things for 2022. Um, again, thank you for all, all of you for watching my videos. Um, I mean, I mean, it means a lot to me. Um, I mean, I don't intend to, like, become, like, the biggest YouTuber ever, like, in terms of people like PewDiePie or a anything like that. But, I mean, but I do like making stuff for people out there and because, like, it, it means something to me. Um, and, but, yeah, there's lots of things to anticipate in 2022. Like, I'll be finishing my mission. Um, I'll, and I also plan to do a Grand Canyon rim to rim hike in May. Um, um, and I, and yeah, Kevin and I are planning to do the Grand Canyon hike. Um, but though, though, of course, like since I'm finishing my mission, my overall life, it'll be kind of ambiguous. I'll probably see if I'll probably like start, um, like going to college some places I was thinking maybe Chandler Gilbert or something. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I, yeah, Thank you all, everybody, for watching my videos. Um, thank you for supporting me through this year. Um, and and I th and I and you guys just really mean the world to me for all that I've for all that I've done. Um, and so I hope. So here's to good things for this next year. Um, so I guess. For the final time, Rainbow Runner will be heading out, and it will be continued and to be continued in 2022. See you then.